In this video, I want to break down a concept that you can add to your trips tied in offense. This is something that you can use. I uh, talked about this concept last year. It's very effective against the meta. Mabel defense really does help you move the ball, continuing to keep your offense on schedule. If you're new to the channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Also, guys, please bear with me. I'm a little, a little bit under the weather uh, today. Uh, but anyways, we're going to be getting into this trips tight end formation. Love this offense and what it brings to the table. Um, if you want to get my full trips tight end offensive guide, I'm going to put a link to my Patreon in the description. By joining the Patreon, it gets you everything. You not only get the trips tight end guide, but you also get every ebook that I've released over the course of the Madden 22 season and every ebook that I will release while your subscription is active for just 10 bucks a month. So super cheap, $10 gets you everything. I'll put a link in the description if you want to check that out. But today we're talking about trips tight end. And um, you can do this out of Pats YM, but you can also do this, I like to do it best, out of PA Counter Go. Now, I'd recommend a Titan Apprentice or a Hot Route Master. Um, you would like to, I, I like to have good spacing for this concept because um, of the how we're going to run it. What we're going to really do is try to kind of put the Mabel, Mabel concept in a little bit of a bind uh, with this play. So uh, we're going to go ahead and put a double Mabel style defense on the field. And I just want you to watch the route combo we're going to use. So the route combo we're going to use is we're going to put the tight end on a post or tight end apprentice post. That's why I say you could use Pat's YN. You'll notice here that it's basically a post. It's just a little bit shallower, but it's pretty much the same route. Okay, so we're going to put the tight end on a post. We're then going to put both slots on a hitch. We're going to put the outside receiver on a out route, and then we're going to put the running back on a wheel. Now, you don't have to put the running back on a wheel, but I like to put the running back on a wheel. And then you're going to motion this outside slot, and you're going to snap him right as he passes the tight end. Your first read is this out route. And what you notice here is if the corner backs up, you can throw this ball. So it's a great pressure release route if they're running um, you know, any kind of cover three. Uh, this really puts them in a tough position because they can't really run cover three against this. So I'll show you again, cover three, you see the out route, five yard, little quick dot right there. Now another way you could do kind of the same thing is using a whip, but the problem with the whip uh, route is that a hard flat can play that. However, if I'm in Mike Blitz three and I shade down and I wanna send, you know, send five out of a cover three shell, I wanna show you how this works. What you're gonna notice here is this little out route to the left, all I do is pass like that outside and it's wide open. Still consistently will get open even against a heavy pressure uh, concept. So what this forces is it forces them to either play a cover two defense or it forces them to man it up. So we're gonna kinda force them into a specific way of having to play us and really what we're trying to work them into is we're trying to work them into a cover two shell um, what you'll see here, that was cover four. Cover four, I could have thrown that. I uh, just kind of missed the read a little bit. I'll show it to you one more time. So this is cover four drop. Uh, it's not cover four match. It's cover four drop. And again, you're just looking out here, right? So if you have grass right there, and that's against a cover four drop with hard flats, you see I can hit that. So they have to do one of the two things, really. They either have to play man on it, or they have to play cover two. And if they were to play cover two, I'll show you what that looks like. This is kind of where we want them to go. We want them to play cover two because it's gonna open up other concepts for us later on. So you see, oh, it's covered, but now look at the post, pull the vertical hooks. And that's why I love this post route. So when we get a cover two show, oftentimes you're gonna see that they're going to maybe do something like this where they shade down their yellow zones to try to get them to play a little bit better uh, in the underneath piece of the defense, specifically talking about hitches. Um, and what you're gonna see here, this vertical gets shaded down, and you'll notice that now um, it plays it pretty good, but on this other side, you can still hit this. My point is, the vert hook will typically, uh, typically speaking, the vertical hook will get carried with the, uh, with the tight end post. The only way it doesn't get car carried um, is if they shade down. And they have to have a vert hook on both sides of the field. I think that's an important disclaimer. They have to basically almost run a true cover two defense. 
And really, that's not even going to be everything they need to do here. But again, just kind of snap it right in here. Notice that wheel. You see how I can hit that wheel and kind of aggressive catch that against a cloud flat. Now, the wheel route is something that I've talked about a little bit here on the channel. Um, if we get kind of a traditional cover two Mabel, where it looks like this, well, now what we're going to do is we're going to put the defender in a lot of conflict because the defender can't use her the post and the hitch, right? So he takes the post, so you throw the hitch, and you keep the offense on schedule. This is why this offense is so good, in my opinion, because the tight end post, and, and let me just kind of really uh, show this real quick. So I'm going to call cover two stock. I'm not going to make any adjustments to it. I want you to notice, notice how the vertical hook zones get pulled back by this tight end post and you and the wheel and you can hit that vert hook all right or you can hit that hitch so typically one of your hitches will be open unless they run man to man now if they run man to man what's going to happen is your wheel route to your running back and your post to your tight end will be open so if this is man coverage on the back we're just going to low ball that and you're going to do that little secure catch we've taught you how to do that on the channel here several times and then also Again, remember we're putting their user in a bind. If their user goes to, if their user decides that he's going to try to take away the running back wheel route, well then now you're going to have this little tight end post that you can kind of secure catch over the middle of the field. So you know, pretty much we force them into this cover two, and then what we want to be doing offensively is again we force them to be in a shaded down cover two with two vertical hooks. Right, kind of a challenging uh, way to play in my personal opinion. So now what's going to happen is, you know, and and they still have to use her. They still have to use her the. Um, they still have to use the tight end post. So now what we're going to do is we're going to put the hitch to uh, Godwin. You could put him on a, a slant if you wanted to, um, but you know something like this here, and then and then we're going to have the wheel and the flat. Now it's going to snap it at the same time, but now the the concept is going to be attacking something completely different. And now we're going to catch them in that cover two. And now we've got a skinny post going over the top. So you could kind of use these two plays together to kind of trap them into calling cover two and then exploiting them when they do. I want to thank you for watching this video. I hope it was helpful. One of my favorite little plays here on a trip side in. I think it's something that you can really abuse. And if you can really read it well, you're going to have a lot of success. So thanks for watching. If you want to get my full trip side in ebook, or if you just want to get better at this game, join the Patreon. That's going to be linked down in the description. So if you're still watching, head on down to the description, click that link, and go check out the Patreon membership if you want to become a better Madden player.